Nope, let me answer your scripture. They, they, he was teaching his brothers, but he was, he, he had so much of a disdain, it was gonna mess up his reputation. That's why Peter, Peter been dealing with this since the dream, since the vision. That's why he said, call no man unclean, because the whole thing that, that he had a problem with was going to the people they call unclean, which was the, uh, no, which was the brothers that left. Give me James, give me uh, 1 Peter 1 and 1. Give me 1 Peter 1 and 1, and you give me uh, James 1 and 1. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let me tell you something. You know, do you know, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy to break this down. The entire Bible is about an inheritance that goes to a nation of people. That's what the kingdom of heaven is. Isn't It is an inheritance. Read what you got. The book of 1 Peter. One and one. Because he was Peter, an apostle of, of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. to the strangers Gentiles. scattered That's throughout Pontius. Stop. Who did Peter go and teach? Who was this letter to? Peter to the who? To the, the strangers Jews. scattered throughout Pontius, Peter Galatia, Cappadocia, Jews. Asia, Paul and Bithynia. To the Gentiles. Do you hear this? Peter was going out to get the scattered abroad. You understand? Do you know why? You know why he went to those that were scattered abroad? Because Christ commanded him to go to the lost sheep of the lost of the house of Israel. Oh, now you mad at God. You said, listen at this. He said if God only came for the black people, he's a big black bitch. Say it again. No, you ain't got to touch it, just say it. If God cannot save everybody, he's a big bitch. A big black bitch. That, well, guess what? And that's why you gonna die. Wow, and that's God. why you going in the change because you, because you know, because you know that you're gonna, you know that slavery is coming. You're full of shit. Now you are, you got Jesus all over your shirt, but you got Satan in your heart. You got Satan in your heart. And that is, we are, we are showing you the true spirit of the white man. The white man don't want to, listen, he want to rule the earth and he want to come to heaven. He want to rape, rob, and murder and he want to rule heaven. I don't come at you with that. Get what you got. Give me that. Read that. James 1 and 1. This is the book of James. Chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of the Most High. Guess what? This James is another one. Read. God. And the Lord Jesus Christ uh -huh. to the twelve tribes. Who was James led us to? To the twelve tribes. No, it's to all people. To the twelve tribes, uh -huh. which are scattered abroad. Greetings. All right. these letters God, are to the twelve tribes that are scattered abroad. Now let me get. Let me tell you the problem. The problem is white people don't get salvation, and you can't take it. That's what it is. Now read what God said gonna happen to you. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. Prepare slaughter. Prepare love. Prepare slaughter. Prepare peace. Prepare slaughter for his children. Guess what? You are the ch ch the child child of a slave master and your father is dead your grandfathers are dead so guess what God said read it again prepare slaughter for his children for what for the iniquity of their father for the what for the iniquity of their father guess what the founding fathers thought they got away when they died and was put on rocks Guess what? You are here to bear the punishment of your fathers. And that's why we out here to warn our people, that's a better day coming for us. Because the white man is going to hell now. See, we living in hell right now. We are living under the oppression of the oppressor. But guess what? There is coming a day when the oppressor will be under your boot. Read verse 1 and 2. Let me show you something. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Read. And will yet choose Israel. The Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob and Israel. You know what that's called in the Bible? That is the 12 tribes. That is the two nations that have been split up. We have been split into two. Blacks and Hispanics are split. Well, the Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob, which is the southern kingdom, and choose Israel, which is the northern kingdom. Read. And set them in their own land. You know where we're going to get set? We're going back to our homeland, which is Jerusalem. Blacks and Hispanics, we're going back home. You're not from Puerto Rico. You're not from Mexico. We're going back to Jerusalem. Read. 
and the strangers shall be joined right. with them. And who's going to be joined? The strangers no, shall be joined with them. The other nations is going to be in our rulership. But watch what they're going to be doing. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to be saying, hey, do you got some food stamps? Do you have somewhere that I can sleep? I need section eight. That's what you're going to experience. You're going to cleave to us like we cleave to you. Read. And the people shall take them uh -huh. and bring them to their place. Go ahead. And the house of Israel shall possess them. What are we going to do to white people? Possess them. What are we going to do to, to the uh, Arabs and the East Indians and the Chinese and Japanese? Possess them. Where? In the land of the Lord. See, you never heard this in church. You didn't know that slavery was going to be in heaven. Well, guess what? If your place was built by slaves, then who you think gonna build our place? Read. For for servants, what are they gonna be? For servants, what is the white man gonna be? Servants. What is Josh gonna be? Servants. And what? And handmaids. Go ahead. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Uh -huh. And they shall rule over their oppressor. No, we're going to rule with them. They shall rule over their oppressor. We're going to all join hand in hand in unity. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So that is what God said. God said there is a day that's coming where you are going to go into slavery. Everybody talks about karma. Everybody talks about what goes around, comes around. Well, guess what? Slavery is going to come back around too. Right. And you're going to be in it. That's right. Don't get mad at us. Salvation is of the Jews. That's what Christ said. Christ said, you don't know what you worship, but we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Right. Christ said, I am not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And you know what else he said? Think not that I come to bring peace on earth. I come to bring a sword. Christ is coming back to, he's going to participate in World War III. And he is going to fight against your military and all the militaries of this earth. Let me tell you something, man. The Euphrates is dry. Look it up, look on your phone and look up the Euphrates River being dry, right? That is happening right now. Now let me show it to you in the Bible. Read this. Come on, one come. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 10. Start at 12. Can I walk on? Verse 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. Oh, what? And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. And the water thereof was dried up. It was what? Dried up. How many veils is it in the Bible? How many trumpets is it in the Bible? It's seven of them. And guess what? That's the sixth one. And it's happening right now. It was prophesied thousands of years ago that this was going to happen. How did they know? How did they know? Oh, they just picked all the rivers out of earth. They just picked the Euphrates to dry up at the end. You know what's going on right before the river Euphrates dried up? Read verse 10. Let me show you how accurate the Bible is. Go down, go on. Verse 10. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. For what? And they gnawed their tongues for pain. Okay. Verse 11, and blasphemed the most high of heaven because of their pains, and their sores. And their what? And their sores. Okay. And repented, and repented not of their deeds. You know where sores is out right now? that you don't repent from? The monkeypox. The Lord sent the monkeypox out because of homosexuality. And you know what? You don't even repent from the homosexuality. You now say, well, if you don't have monkeypox, are you really gay? They, they put it on the flag. They put a monkeypox on the flag to embrace it. They repent not of their sin. And then right after that is the sixth seal, and it says the great river Euphrates is dried up. You playing with God. You think the Bible is a book of fairy tales. Well, guess what happens right after the great river Euphrates dry up? What verse we at? Start at verse, um, what was that, 12? <laughs> uh, go to 14. 
Count out one come. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 16, verse 14. For they are the spirits of devils. Oh, that's too good. So let's start at uh, 13. Count out one come. And I saw three unclean spirits. Okay, now I don't, I don't want to teach y'all that. Just start at 14. <laughs> Count out one come. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and all the whole world. Start at 17, go get straight to the point. God out one come. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of, of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. Saying what? It is done. No, we got a little bit more to go. It is done. Guess what? World War Three is gonna start and Christ is going to come back and fight in it. You know how we know that you know it's going to happen? Because the Bible says that Christ is going to come the way he left. And Christ left on a chariot. Christ left on what you would call a UFO. And now you've started a space force. I wonder why. Why did you start a space force? If you don't believe in UFOs, then why did you make an army to fight in space? Because the scripture says that Michael and his angels are going to fight against the beast and his angels. The white man plans to go to war with God, just like on Independence Day. Isn't that crazy? We telling you that Christ is coming to free us and you name the movie Independence Day? Because you think you're going to stop us from being free from under your boot. You think you're going to stop the salvation that the Lord, that Christ died for? It's nothing you can do to stop it. And we reading the Bible. And the Bible is telling you and has been telling you about everything that was going on. You just didn't believe it. Well, you know what? You better believe that we are at the end. And slavery is at hand for you. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't let nobody tell you crap. You know why? My whole life was trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues, call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick, a habit that's hereditary from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord 